Hey there guys and welcome back to Mod Source 2. This is Casual Kiwi. Uh, this episode I'm going to quickly run you through um, downstairs what I've done while I've been away. I've gone ahead and sort of tidied up my infinite ore setup. Um, basically my ex asterisk or ex nihilo or whatever you want to call it setup. I've got a chunk loader running so that when I'm offline it is still going ahead and doing its thing. And I've got a bunch of ores here. A, a bunch of ingots, sorry. A bunch of ingots completed. Um, I've emptied this once already which when it had nowhere near as much stuff as it does now um, but it is continuously producing us an absolute butt ton of stuff which is great um, it also produces a heap of emeralds and um, diamonds but I have been just manually taking those out of the automatic sieve uh, the rest of the junk that I don't really want is going up here so I've got the um, aluminium the flint and the silver set to void once it reaches a certain level and I've got the coal and the lapis lazuli going in there as well which I will upgrade those barrels when I need to as well as sand getting exported out the side of the pulverizer so that we don't end up with uh, sand going into the sieve and a whole bunch of stuff that my system isn't set up to deal with. We might eventually set up another sieve out this way and another system going this way for sand uh, but at this point in time I'm not going to worry about it and I know you can go ahead Head and you can rather than smelting the um, uh, where are they in here rather than smelting these guys once they're made I know you can whack them again or grind them again and get more pro uh, more production better production well, I'm not sure what the word is for it there but you can get more from them I just I didn't really feel the need to set it up we're already getting a heap of stuff um, I think without going all the way down to dust and all those sorts of things I don't think there's any need for it um, but anyway what I wanted to work on today is I want a storage system. So I've gone ahead and done uh, applied energistic systems in all my other series a multiple of times. So I'm probably going to glance over it a little bit quick in this episode. I'm probably going to do a lot of stuff off camera. Um, but basically I just want to set up an ME system. So what we're going to need is we're going to need an ME controller, an ME drive, and a terminal is basically all we need. And we're also going to need an energy acceptor, which is hiding... Where is that hiding? It is... Hmm. I know it's there somewhere because I saw it earlier. It is... We're going to need these guys as well, crystal growth accelerators, so we can make some stuff. Um, where in the hang has it gone? In energy acceptor, that guy. Boom. Um, which is quartz glass glass, um, some iron and some certus quartz. Uh, but basically I'm going to duck away to Timbo's base and I'm going to come back when I've got some of the stuff built and up and running. So I will see you shortly. Hey there guys and I'm back. Um, I've been over to Timbo's and I've made just some uh, printed engineering circuits and some printed logic circuits in his base over there because he's got all the setup. He's got all the um, the casts, the um, the whatchamacallits, I can't remember what they're called now, um, the templates for, for making these circuits. Now, um, basically what I'm wanting to do is go ahead and base, make a very basic AE system. Um, it's been a couple of days, to be fair, since I was on last, so I'm a little bit lost. Basically what we were looking to make was an ME controller. Ah, oh, I forgot to grab some sky stone from his place. But we're also going to need an ME drive. Uh, which is going to require a bit of that, so we're going to need some of that, which is some just some glass and some certus quartz dust. So we can grab some glass, and we will need to grind up some certus quartz. How much certus quartz do we have? We have a bit. That's okay. Grab some of that, and we'll quickly grind that down. Uh, boom. That should get us some certus quartz dust. Lovely. Um, what else do we need to make? We need to make a terminal. Um, the cage is probably one of the first things we really need to make though. We've got some of those, we've got some iron. So the glass cable is fairly high on the to-do list to be fair. We've got a bunch of that. So we should be able to go flunk, flunk, and some of you flunk. And that gives us three, which is all we need anyway. And then it was like that, that, and that gives us four of those cable. Nice. We're going to make a couple more for now. Um probably didn't need to make that many I probably needed those flux crystals more than anything but that's okay um, right so now we should be able to whack that oh we needed to use the inscriber one more time I forgot to make them into proper circuits they're just um, the printed logic circuits they need to be processors not circuits uh, so I will be back again in a second 
Okay guys, I'm back and I have got my logic processes and engineering processes all made. So we'll go ahead and grab the rest of that. Oh, there's only two service quartz out of there. And we should be able to carry on and start making this guy. Flunk, like so, we want one of you. Boom, boom, boom. Grab all that stuff back. Um, the next thing we're going to need... Oh, I still forgot to grab the bloomin' sky stone. God dang it. Um... The next thing we're going to need is we're going to need a terminal. So if we type in terminal like so, we should be able to get... We can't make a crafting terminal, just a standard ME terminal is what we're going to need. So we're going to need a couple of formation core... Well, a formation core, an annihilation core, a logic processor, and a dark illuminator panel. So we can make these. It shouldn't be too hard. I don't think we have any flux dust, though. We're going to have to grind one of those guys down um, like so. I mean, that gives us one. Okay, we're going to need at least a couple of those. We'll just do two for now, because we don't have very many at all. Um, have we got just basic terminal? Terminal interface, pattern terminal, ME terminal, that guy. Boom, boom. We can make one of you. And then, where is it? There. We want a one of you, like so. And then we should be able to whip up this guy here. Where are we? So we need a couple of bits of glowstone, redstone, and iron. Ah, glowstone could be a bit of a trick. Hmm. We might have to make a trip to the nether. Okay, let's go see if we can see any in the nether real quick. Um, I'm not sure how much luck we're going to have, to be fair, because we seem to be in a cave in the nether. I've only been there once, and I did not spend a long time there because some pigmen killed me. I obviously angered them by mining, and they slaughtered me. So we'll head over there, ooh, and we'll see what we can find. Hopefully we get to the portal before it gets dark. Dun dun dun, it's just over here by Timbo's. Where is it? There. The, oh, there's glowstone in the roof. I'm tempted to steal that. Wouldn't that be easier? Much. Obviously he's found glowstone somewhere then. Oh, crikey, we're on fire. Why are we on fire? God dang little horrible thing. Okay, so Timbo's been over here doing some mining by the looks of it. Nice, nice, very nice. Where's he gone? He has gone all the way up to bedrock. Hmm. Is he setting up a mine up here or something, is he? Let's see if we can find some glowstone. The carpenter's hatch. Oh, look at that. Nice. What is that? A nether fortress. Wow, this is pretty neat. That is one fancy as nether fortress. It's surrounded in, in bars. Is that in a... I don't know what that is behind that. That is crazy. It looks like um, energized redstone or something. Wow, that's different. Um, okay, how in the hang are we going to get some glowstone? Is probably my first big drama. There's a hatch. Hmm. Some ores. Hmm. Hmm. We're kind of on an island. It's not looking good without going all the way up to that roof. Whoa, bit of lag there. I have no idea what what that guy is there. It might just be glowstone armor. Uh, we could head over that way. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go. Let's go for an... Oh, actually, let's just quickly save right here. Oh, that's not what we want. I just hit J. Close. Oh, we'll remove those. And we'll quickly add a new... And we'll call that the portal hatch. And we'll make it bright red so we can see it. Awesome. Fantastic. Okay, close that. Close that. And boom. We're going to get up over here so we can find some glowstone. So it's a bit of another adventure. Whoa. We've got pigmen. And of course, we're on a massive island. So we're not going anywhere. We're going to go steal Timbo's glowstone out of his roof. What is that? It's osmium. Dun dun dun. Stuck. Don't get angry, pigmen. Through there. Nice. Oh, we'll see if we'll see if Timbo's got some of roof, eh? Oh, get down there. Goddamn Britannia thingy. 
I want to close that hatch. Perfect. Okay, guys, I might see you back at base when I have got some glowstone. I'll see you shortly. Okay, guys, I am back. Timbo had like eight stacks of glowstone, so he obviously stole it all from the surrounding area. So uh, we're just going to claim a little bit of that. I just took 12, and I also grabbed five bits of sky stone, which we need to smelt up. Um, and by smelting that, that turns it into the stuff we can use to make an ME controller, which is perfect. So now we should be able to go ahead and make our terminal like so. No, we need that glass, don't we? Boom. Quartz glass is... Oh, a bunch more Certus Quartz. Hmm, and there's no other recipe. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Quartz glass from Applied Ninja 6.2. I thought there was another way you could make that. Um, let me know in the comments if there is. Um, we can just use that, I guess. That kind of sucks. I didn't want to use all my Certus Quartz. But that's okay. We need three. That gives us four, so that's fine. Like so. Terminal, terminal, terminal. Kaflunk gives us three of those. And then, yoink. One of you. Boom, we have ourselves a terminal. We'll get rid of those. Oh, we don't have enough space. We don't need a grass block. Perfect. Okay, so we have a terminal. We should now be able to we have our drive um, we should now be able to make the controller as well if we go ahead and grab uh, sky stone here what can I dump off momentarily we'll get uh, we'll get rid of these sticks I'm not gonna need them in a hurry I don't think um, right applied uh, what else do we need we need the controller Ooh, it requires pure Fluix Crystals, which we have not made. Hmm, so we're not going to be making him anytime soon. The other thing we need is a 1K ME drive. So if we type in 1K, it should bring it up. This guy, 1K ME storage. Um, glass, we should... Ooh, no, we can make the glass, though. Flonk, one of you again. And then... We should be able to make that with, if we get rid of our charged service quartz into that guy, because we don't want to use that up, grab those, boom, 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 one of you, nice, very nice, and then we should be able to do that. What are we short? There should be iron along there, I want to say. What have I picked up that that won't fit in? We'll get rid of you. Where's our iron? We have no iron on us. Let me quickly pick up some iron. We did have iron on us. Yoink. And yoink. No. Arr, what, have, what have we got now? We'll get rid of... Nothing stacks. This is frustrating. Get rid of the iron because oh, and the grass. Iron, redstone, that, and some of that glass. Boom, boom. Redstone can go there. Glass. And we needed redstone there, was it? Boom, boom. No? Crikey, what am I doing wrong? Redstone, redstone. We've got you, haven't we? That shouldn't be there. We haven't made that yet. Boom, we need to make that. Boom. Arrgh, too much stuff in my freaking inventory. Okay, that's almost full as well. Get rid of that, that. Um, we don't need those. Don't need that and that at this point in time. Or the bucket, or the book, or the torches, or the shovel, or the grass. Okay, we should be able to sort of get this sorted now. We'll grab all this stuff back. Organize our inventory by pressing the middle button, by the way. Yoink, yoink, we need one of you, which is like so, lovely. Now we need one of you, like so, lovely. Oh, we can make two of those. Oh, let's make two of them, all well and good. Now, what we should be able to do is throw this guy there like so, and then basically just throw a piece of this cable 
on there, terminal there, and chuck these guys in, and voila, we have ourselves an ME terminal. Fan freaking tastic. I'm gonna get rid of all this stuff into there. Oh, oh the joy. I love having an ME terminal. I absolutely love it. I love having an applied energistic system. It is the bee's knees. Okay, that is the most basic form. Um, and it, oh, I suppose you could have an ME chest with a, um, a terminal on it, and that would be even more basic, but that's okay. This is going to do for us for now. Um, so pretty much, I'm going to go ahead and take all this stuff and wang it in this thing, or a lot of it anyway. Um, all the stuff out of those iron chests, wang it in here, and... Um, then we're going to be sitting pretty. Hey there guys and welcome back. Um, we're back over here in Timbo's base and now we're down in his basement and there's a really annoying bat floating around here. Well, there's heaps of bats freaking floating around here, annoying little suckers. Uh, but this is Timbo's spawners that he's got going down here, some Emifar spawners which has got some witches, some endermen and we've got very, very few frames going on because all these carpenters blocks and Z-tones and all these blooming things, they are jamming our frames down the toilet as far as I can tell um, so I hope it doesn't look too bad but this is where I've got my glowstone I have oh geez bat I've gotten a stack of glowstone from Timbo so I hope you don't mind Timbo I do apologize and we grabbed a couple of ender pearls as well because we have got some enderman spawners and all of these good things going on in here so we're gonna quickly sneak oh it's over here elevator block back to our base frame rates just as bad in here jeez it is pretty awful so uh, we're going to head back to our base. We have also got a new member playing on the server. His name is King Chrissy. I think it was King Chrissy. Yeah, King Chrissy. And he has built a pretty beastly looking base over by my place. Look at this thing. It is coming along nice. It reminds me a little bit of Medley Lock, Meaty Lock and German's base from some of the things they have done in the past. Um, but it looks pretty neat. Um, like I've always said, I'm not much of a builder. My houses are never anything to look at, so I'm sorry about that. Look at, look at this monstrosity compared to this sort of looking architectural looking beast. Looks quite nice. But anyway, um, we'll catch up with him at some stage. He's gone ahead and left us a beautiful little gift of a whole heap of iron blocks in our base, which is great. Thank you very much. Um, but anyway, we've got our glowstone, and what we want to carry on and finish up with today to finish this episode off is we want to grab a wrench which i think we have in our backpack a yoink like so and we'll let go there we want to yoink that guy off i hope we pick that up our frames haven't really improved much we're still only just sitting at 30 so that's not oh we didn't pick it up it's not fantastic yoink we want to make ourselves a crafting terminal and then that makes life so so much easier why is any eye not working, crafting, terminal, this guy here. So that requires a crafting bench, a crafting and a calculation processor. So we can grab that guy, Timbo's, ah, we need to put that back on there. We need a calculation processor. Oh, we don't have one. Ooh, that requires pure crystals and all those good things. Now, I'm not set up to make any of this stuff yet, and I've kind of been a bit lax lately. I know it's been a couple of weeks since I had a video, so I'm going to duck over to Timbo's again and grab one of these bad boys. I'm just going to hit him up and see if I can grab one, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back, I'm knucked uh, over, ducked over and seen Timbo, and he has was kind enough to give me a calculation processor, so we can haul this guy back off the wall, yoink, like so, and in here, we should be able to go, what was it, crafting terminal, like so, oh, we didn't make one of those guys, did we, so we need four logs, yoink, one, two, three, four, we can do it here. We need four of you. Done. Um, done. And done. And we get ourselves an ME crafting terminal. Nice. And we got an achievement. Fan freaking tastic. So now we can throw that guy on there. And now we can craft inside our ME terminal. Now this is the bee's freaking knees, I do tell you. So we can hook a bunch of stuff up to this. We can fill this drive up. We can hook up multiple drives. We can hook up auto crafting units. We can have storage buses linking to everything all over the show. And 
these ME systems, Applied Energistics System, ME System, whatever you want to call it, are the bee's freaking knees. Um, so basically, I think that's where I'm going to end this episode, guys. I don't know why I was after the glowstone. I really don't. I'm not sure. <laughs> I know I was after glowstone for some reason, but it has been like a week and a half since I recorded the beginning of this episode. I just haven't been feeling it, team. I, I wasn't feeling it, wasn't feeling the vibe, uh, so I figured I'm probably better to not record anything at all, because otherwise it was just not going to be good. Uh, but anyway, we'll finish this off. Um, basic system, I know I haven't shown too much of the processes and making all that sort of stuff, but you've seen that hundreds of times, well not hundreds of times, heaps of times in all my other videos. Uh, so I didn't really want to get too involved in that. Um, what we might quickly whip up if we can, or something I want to whip up in the future, is a magnet from Practicalities. I want to make these guys. So first off we want the basic item magnet. What does that require? It requires some redstone and some iron, that requires some redstone and some lapis, and that requires some gold and some enderpearls. Let's make this bad boy. Let's see if we can make one, two, three of these. One. And we can make one as a gift for all of the server. Two. And then we need three of these. One, two, two, three. Beautiful. Okay, can we whip up some item magnets? We can. One. Two. And three. Nice. So now I can go give that to all the guys on the server, and everyone can suck it. <laughs> okay, fantastic. They can all suck it. Okay, guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time. We will be a little bit more organized and a little bit more detailed, and we will make a better episode and have a bit of fun. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. I thought this was a little funny. I'm just going to leave this for King Chrissy over here in his chest. Item magnet, suck it. <laughs>